Hello, this is Christian from Solitech Solutions with a short demonstration video on how to determine the volume of a shell feature. As an example, I opened this bottle. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to determine the inside volume of this bottle. There are several ways of doing it. I'm going to show you one way right now. Very easy. Um, scroll back before the shell feature. So I've got a solid body over here you click on mass properties write down this volume after that we're going to determine the volume after the shell feature so again mass properties write down the volume over there subtract both values and we've got the volume of the shell feature however sometimes with some more complex models this is not the perfect or the correct solutions because we've still got some features after the shell feature which include a thread over here which is not taken into account when we do it we determine the mass or we, we determine the volume before and after the shell feature so what I'm going to show you guys is another way of working around this um, you can see that the bottle is hollow from the inside so what we're going to do is we're going to select all the surfaces on the inside and we're going to create a surface offset to do that I'm going to right click on the inside of this bottle extend this menu and select connected faces from there you have several options I'm just going to select all faces internal to the feature which are 26 faces from there I'm going to insert surface and select offset now we don't want any offset so I'm just gonna fill in zero inch select OK alright so now what happened is so we have two bodies we've got a solid body and a surface body I'm gonna turn off the solid body so that we're left with the surface body now if you look over here you can basically see that there is it's a surface with zero thickness it's pretty hard to see. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we wanna create a cap on top of this bottle so that the surface is closed all the way. So I'm gonna select the edge, go to Insert, Surface, Planar. We already selected the edge, so I'm just gonna click OK and place the little cap on top of the bottle. Alrighty last thing that we need to do now is we're going to create a solid of these surfaces and we're going to knit them together with the knit feature so again we go to insert surface knit it asks us to select the surfaces we're going to select the bottom part and the top bit don't forget to click the tick the box here try to form a solid because that's what we want we click OK now we're left with two solid bodies so this worked out pretty well we've got a revolve which is our original bottle if I turn this on we have our original body and inside there is this surface knit you can rename it to any um, name you want to I'm just gonna leave it to surface knit which is the inside so basically what we've done is we filled up the shell feature with a body now we go to measure we go to mass properties now note that the selected item is still bottle so it's gonna do it for the total bottle that's not what we want we just wanna know the in we wanna determine the mass or sorry the volume on the inside so what I'm gonna do is gonna right click in the screen clear the selection and we're gonna select only the inside bit which is the surface knit if you renamed it you have another name here now I'm gonna press recalculate and we've got our volume of the inside on the inside of the bottle over there. 